Hello everyone and welcome back to getting started in streaming. In this episode, we're going to take a look at setting up your streaming software. Now we covered in other videos that there are different kinds of streaming software, XSplit, vMix, but the most commonly used one is indeed open broadcast software. So running and downloading open broadcast software is relatively simple. You just go to obsproject.com and just download it off the site. It's very, very simple. And once you have it installed, it's time to set it up. So in order to set it up, we need to know one major thing, and that is your upload speed. So let's go to speed of dot me and let's run this test really fast. And when the test is concluded, you will see your upload speed. As long as this number is bigger than five megabits per second, you are good to go. The bigger the number, the better. It does have a hard cap on the Twitch side of about 6,000 kilobits per second but that's fine as long as you're above five you're good once again you're, if you're starting out in streaming you're not a partner you don't get transcoding so this is fine now that we have our upload speed and we've confirmed it's bigger than five megabits per second we can actually get started in setting up our obs let's begin by coming down to the settings button and clicking that now you see here we have languages and themes you're best going to want to pick the dark theme uh you can go with the light theme or any of the others but the dark theme is by far the best one. If you want to know how to install other themes, I do have a video on the channel about that. You can check that video out. Next, we're going to want to go to the stream area. Now under service, if you only want to broadcast out to one service, such as Twitch or Mixer or YouTube, just click on here and select the service of choice. But like I said, if you are just starting on streaming and you have no contractual obligations, you're going to want to actually go with restream.io. This way you can take a Mixer channel, a Twitch channel, and a YouTube channel and have it have one stream go out to all three services. It's really the best way to go and something I highly, highly advise. So I'm going to stick with Restream.io. Now, the next thing you need is a stream key. For each service, I'll show you where you can find your stream key. Under Twitch, you're going to want to come into your dashboard area and come under preferences and then go to channel. And in your channel, you'll see your primary stream key. Copy this and paste it into your OBS. For Mixer, you're going to want to click on the top right here and go into your broadcast dashboard. And it will be right here at the top. So copy your stream key and paste it in. And then for YouTube, you're going to want to come into your YouTube studio and just go to create and go go live. And now I'm just going to go to stream, uh, show the stream classic window because the new one is a little bit of a garbage fire. And then at the bottom here, you'll see your stream key and then you can copy this and paste that into OBS as well. So those are your three services. And if you are going to go the restream.io route, you just make that account and then come into your restream.io area. And then on the main page, you should be able to get your stream key right here. So that is how you get all of your stream keys for all of the services. Let's go into output now. And for your encoder, unless you have an RTX card or a very high end GTX card, you'll probably want to stick with the X264 CPU encoder. And you're going to want to rescale your output to 720p, your constant bit rate, you want to make it anywhere between 3500 and 4000. Uh, if you only have five megabits, definitely keep it at around the mid threes because you also have to account your bandwidth for your Chrome and for your game. So keep it around 3,500 to 3,700 keyframe interval. I have it set to zero since that's the auto, but the default is normally two uh, CPU usage. Just set this to very fast. Uh, in most cases, that's good enough. I'm not going to go into a lot of details about this type of stuff because if you're just starting out, it can be really overwhelming. Under audio, we're going to pick 44.1 kilohertz in stereo. You want to pick your proper desktop audio. So I have it going through my headphones right now on my Scarlett 2i2. And don't get overwhelmed by all of what you see on my screen. These are all virtual audio cables I do for other things. And then for my mic, I also have my Scarlett 2i2. Then we have our decay rate is fast. That should be fine. Monitoring device is my Scarlett because I want it to be run through my headphones. And that should be everything I need for that. And then coming into video, our base canvas is 1920 by 1080. That should be 
almost all of you. Now, I actually use 4K monitors, but I still use a 1920 by 1080 canvas because I transfer my scenes and my profiles between multiple computers, and this is the only one with 4K. So I just keep everything 1920 by 1080. It's just easier to work that way. Then you want to do the outscale uh, or downscale it to 720p. And then your downscale filter I use by cubic. Uh, a lot of people use a uh, Lank Lankios, but I just find by cubic is easier for what I do. And then 60 frames per second is your common FPS value. Don't do 30. You can do 30, but try and do 60 if you can. Now under advanced. Coming down here, this should all be pretty normal. Uh, don't really mess with the stuff if you don't know what it is, obviously. Uh, these are all normal stock values. What they have default is probably fine for you. And now that you have all that done, click apply and click OK. And now you can come in and actually configure your OBS. So you can see here we have scenes and sources. Scenes are like the house and sources are like the rooms within the house. So if we want to make a new source, we're going to go add and we'll just say temp source. And then we want to add our game. So we're going to go right click add and we're going to go add game capture. And we'll just call this Fortnite for now. There we go. And you'll see capture any full screen application. That's fine. SLI, turn that off. You don't need it. Allow transparency. Capture cursor. You can choose to or not capture your cursor. That's all dependent on you. And anti cheat. That's fine. So I have to rescale this output since once again, 4K doesn't play too nicely sometimes. So let's click OK. And we add our game capture. You can see the levels here are all registering. I've labeled mine 2i2 and my mic and then my speakers. If you don't see these, then you can just come into your settings and go to audio and just double check to make sure you have everything that you need set. If you're not seeing them on your leveled area, then you probably don't have that setting activated. If you're using a capture card, go right click, add and go video capture device. And you can see here I have two of them. So I'll just make a new one just for the sake of this video. And you can see here's my Avermedia GC 550. You want to go set your default to custom your resolution that is, and then set the resolution to probably the max that it can go and cap the actually put the FPS value to a real number. Don't do highest value because you can get some stuttering. Now that we got all that, you'll probably want your webcam next. And the webcam is exactly the same as video capture device, but you just pick the webcam that you want to use. And that should be everything that you need to just get started and get broadcasting. Once you have all your settings put in here and your sources built, just hit start streaming and you are good to go. So that is the very quick and very dirty way of getting OBS up and running to start streaming. Now there's a bunch of refinement to do that we'll cover in later subsequent videos, but this is just the fast and dirty, I need to be up and running in 10 minutes kind of way. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ben Arif. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this, please do subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I will see all of you on the next video. Bye.